Hey guys, today's topic is what do I feed my rabbits? Now, before I let you know what I feed my rabbits, I want to preface that by reminding you to please research your particular breed's nutritional needs, talk with your veterinarian before you change your bunny's diet, or decide on what you're going to be feeding your bunny a day. That being said, I feed my rabbits four specific things every day. The first is a fresh supply of water. I give them reverse osmosis filtered water every day or every other day. Um, when it's warmer outside, I try to change it every day. But I don't trust what's in our water supply and I just think if I can give them filtered water, that's probably better than what comes out of the tap. So in addition to that, the second thing is free choice, unlimited as much as they want, hay buffet. I feed either Timothy hay or orchard grass. If we can't grow it organically on our farm, which we aren't quite to that point in having enough to last all year yet, my next preferred choice is buying hay online. I know that sounds ridiculous, and we live in a farming community. I get crazy looks when I tell people I order my hay online, but you'll see in a minute that a lot of the hay that you find around you and from farmers just might not be as green and as fragrant as what you can buy from Farmer Dave's online. There are other websites. I think Small Pet Select has a pretty decent Timothy. Um, one Ear Up is another one. So unlimited hay as much as they want. That fiber really helps to push everything through their digestive system. The third main thing is pellets. I feed my bunnies Sherwood Naturals bunny pellets. I use the adult complete formula for the adults. They also have an adult professional formula that doesn't have Timothy in it, but I have a few bunnies who aren't the best Timothy eaters. So I just feed the adult complete to everybody. And then I know they're getting their Timothy, even if they're not eating a lot of the actual Timothy hay. And that doesn't really need to be measured. I give them a fourth a cup in the morning and then a fourth a cup again in the evening if I see that they need more but I measure it so that I know how much they're eating in a day. If they haven't eaten, I try to figure out why. Maybe they're getting sick. Uh, maybe they're eating more hay. So that is just what I do. My babies up through about 12 weeks are on the Sherwood baby formula. And then in addition to that, every day or every other day, I try to give my bunnies roughly about a half a cup of veggies. Now I've read you can give a three pound bunny anywhere between one to two cups of veggies a day. I usually feed them right around a half a cup to a cup and that's just what works for me and my bunnies. So figure out what works for your bunny. You need to pay attention to their poop <laughs> when you're feeding vegetables. If the poop becomes mushy or changes in consistency, you definitely want to really back off on that vegetable and maybe try again in a few days or just try it in smaller quantity. So um, the quantity of vegetables, I think definitely depends on breed and your individual bunny. So let me show you exactly what I feed my bunnies. Here are five different rabbit pellets. Two of these are the Sherwood brand that I feed my rabbits. One is the Sherwood Adult Complete and the other is the Sherwood Baby Formula. See if you can tell which two look the best if you were a rabbit. <laughs> Pardon the roosters in the background, I'm sorry. <laughs> so this here is Mana Pro. This is Perina Show. This is Modesto Milling Organic Rabbit Pellets. This is the Sherwood Adult Complete, and then this is the Sherwood Baby. So if you just look at the Sherwood, do you see how much greener these foods are than the other ones? And they smell just very fragrant. They smell like hay. That's because they are hay-based foods. These two up here, these commercial rabbit pellets, the Mana Pro and the Perina Show, they use grain to get their protein, such as soy and wheat. 
And a lot of these commercial pellets also contain sweeteners like molasses to get the bunnies to eat the pellets. Now what's wrong with soy? I do have a big problem with soy for a lot of reasons, but soy can actually inhibit the digestibility of protein. And then the excess protein ends up in the digestive system, just kind of sitting there and bad bacteria can form. And then that's when you get gut issues starting. In addition, the protein that isn't digested because of the soy, it will form ammonia. Then your rabbit's urine will be a lot smellier. This organic pellet by Modesto Milling, it is one I recently found and I was considering adding it to my pregnant doe's diet just for a protein boost. I'm still not 100% confident in the ingredients and overall it smells and looks better than these two commercial pellets here, but it still doesn't hold a candle to the Sherwood. So besides the fact that I know these contain grain, they don't smell nearly as good or look nearly as good as this fresh, green, fragrant Sherwood. Whoops, I just spilled a whole bunch. How fresh and how tasty does this Sherwood look? Sherwood adult complete. I'm an adult, so I figured I should try the adult, right? Here it goes. See? Hmm. Tastes a lot like grass. Not bad. Hmm. Hmm. Tastes pretty fresh. <laughs> this was just a quick comparison of some of the foods that I had on hand to show you the difference between commercial pellets and organic pellet, which that's the only organic rabbit pellet that I'm aware of, and then the Sherwood. I am not partnered with Sherwood. It is simply the food that I've used with my bunnies for the past two years, and I think it's the best one on the market right now. Let me show you how much I feed my rabbits. In the morning, they each get a fourth a cup of the Sherwood pellet, either the baby or the adult formula here. I top that with a pinch of organic rolled oats, not the quick cook kind, and Right now I have mixed in a bit of dried organic comfrey leaf, which that's good for pregnant and nursing does. It's good for the immune system. It's good for the digestive system. I don't put much in there. You can see the little dark flakes. So they get a bit of that. The pregnant does might get a teaspoon or two of the oats on top of their food. So in addition to the pellets and the pinch of oats, I give a Sherwood digestive support tablet to any bunnies who might be molting or maybe they have a little bit of mushy poo. These have papaya and pineapple and there are quite a few other ingredients um, that help with digestion. They smell great. It takes the bunnies maybe a few days to get used to them, but mine beg for them. And they are expensive and I don't use them with all the bunnies all the time. It's Whenever a bunny needs one, I give them that. So then we have some apple sticks. We have an apple tree that we don't spray any pesticides on and we cut some sticks off. They love the freshly cut sticks. They chew on them, they eat them, they just love them. And then comes the hay. Take a look at those two hays. This is a hay that I found locally. It's a Timothy, there looks like a bit of other grasses mixed in. And then over here is the Timothy hay from Farmer Dave's purchased online. It is a bit expensive with the shipping because uh, this for a big bale I think was about maybe five to seven dollars. And this for I think about 35 pounds with shipping was around 70. So seven or 70 dollars and you get a lot more of that. But my bunnies really don't like this nearly as much. So for right now, I'm still purchasing through Farmer Dave's until we can grow our own. I recommend this to all of my customers. This is the second cutting. They sometimes have second cutting with clover. My bunnies like that too, but I think that's out of stock right now. I usually feed it 
in a toilet paper tube or paper towel tube just to help keep the hay together and less mess. Plus they sometimes chew on the cardboard a little bit. They don't really eat it, they just shred it. Or I put it in a hay rack like this. This is a little Lixit hay rack, um, hangs on the side of the cage. But they seem to prefer the toilet paper tubes. If you just throw it on the bottom of the cage, it makes a big mess. So now I'm getting ready to do the evening feeding. And in addition to refilling their hay and their pellets, I give them another fourth cup of the adult complete Sherwood pellet or the baby pellet from Sherwood if needed. If they still have quite a bit, then I don't refill it until the morning. But I also like to give about a half a cup of greens per bunny. And this is for the older adult bunnies that are six months and older. Now the juniors that are around five months, maybe four and a half months, they will get a little bit less than a half a cup. I know that the babies munch on the leaves of their moms. So I start them, you know, maybe a leaf or two from baby up and and then I gradually increase that until they're about six months old when they're getting right around a half a cup. That's just what I do. I think the general rule of thumb is about one cup of greens per three pounds of bunny. I do a little bit less, but the most important thing is make sure that the vegetables or the greens that you are giving are okay for bunnies. You can Google for lists of safe foods to give to bunnies. And also you need to monitor their poop carefully. If you're giving, it doesn't matter if it's an older bunny or a bunny that's a little bit less than six months, you need to watch for runny poo, mushy poop, then you definitely would want to not feed that vegetable again or back off drastically and slowly build up. So carefully monitoring the amounts and the poop is the key in my opinion. So what do I have here? This is some organic parsley and everything has been washed. I like to rinse it. Um, next we have some dandelion greens. And obviously these are not available year round. These came out of our yard, which you can pick anything from your yard that's on the bunny safe list if you don't spray your lawn with chemicals, pesticides. So we don't do any of that. So this is basically organically grown um, dandelion leaves. We have the dandelions themselves. Each bunny will get maybe around one dandelion. And obviously that's not all year round here in Ohio, but right now it's the end of April and we have a plethora of dandelions in our yard. And then this over here is plantain herb. It's not to be confused with the other plantain that looks like a banana. This is a plantain herb. If you don't spray your yard, you likely have it in high quantities. So Google it and you'll see what plantain herb looks like. It has uh, a, a circle of these leaves growing at, like a little carpet on the grass. And then as it ages, you get a little tassel in the middle of it. But plantain is very healthy for the bunnies um, for various reasons, helps with digestive issues, and they love it. You can even pick it in the spring and summer and let it dehydrate, and then you can feed it all winter long, which they love it crunchy too. And then we have some organic spring mix greens. And then I usually pick a little treat. Uh, these are some organic strawberries they will just get you know a little slice. Maybe I would do a banana another day. And this is being divided among um, you know, 12 to 15 bunnies. So they just get a little bit because fruits are high in sugar and that's not really healthy for them. So they just get a teeny bit of that. So those are the ingredients I'm using today. Um, sometimes it varies and I usually try to give this to them every day or at least every other day, in addition to the pellets and the Timothy hay or orchard grass that I give them. Again, you wanna to talk to your veterinarian and see what's best for your bunny, but that is what I do, and let's mix it up and take it out to the bunnies. So when I'm out feeding, I just estimate approximately a half a cup or a little bit more for each bunny. Let's go feed it to them. 
Okay, now this is my four month old. So she gets a much smaller amount. <laughs> Here you go, Molly. Get the sun in your face. And again, I wouldn't start with this amount. I would slowly work up to more. But Molly has been used to the greens since she was a baby nibbling on them with her mom. So I've just slowly worked up. She's not quite at a half a cup yet. But I just keep an eye on her poop. Make sure it's not mushy. If it is, I back off. Molly approves. <laughs> So she gets about a half a cup, put it in her bowl, and <laughs> oh, she loves it. And her baby will munch a little bit of the leaves. And as long as their poop isn't mushy, it's okay. And then as he gets older, he can slowly build up how much he eats. Hey, you guys are missing out. You're missing out down there. Don't you know it's salad time downstairs? This guy's having his dried salad. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Mama's eating her salad. Oh, did Danny Lion eat? 